Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're gonna build Mr. Boucher a bomber driver. You're known for the shots that you hit on the golf course being things that people have never, never seen before, never even imagined before, to be honest, shaping the ball and doing lots of different things, hitting over your head off crazy lies. But I think the one thing that, that you've not really kind of done a ton with is like how to just hit it deep of deep. Yeah, and I think for me, my focus last few years has been maybe losing a bit of speed to, to hit it in play more often, get that safety shot that I can trust. Yeah. Um, and I haven't really thought about speed that much. I know I did a lot of speed training probably two years ago now, mm. got my club head speed way up there, and it was really fun to kind of max myself out. So it'll be fun to see if I can squeeze a couple extra yards out today. Always, always fun to do that. So you've kind of built in this like safety shot. So like I'd love to hit your driver, your tailor-made stealth with your Acra, custom Acra TZ5. Like let's let's show on a hole that, that there is a reward for, for hitting it, you know, seriously long, like the long guys on 18 who can access, you know, on a slight downwind day, uh, we're gonna hit it on calm uh, conditions, but on a downhill day, you know, McElroy and those guys will drive the green here at 18 at St. Andrews. So let's hit your shot shape, safety, you know, your safety slice. Sure. And it just gets it in play versus when you can attack the, the hole, what that looks like. What From a strokes gain perspective, what is the benefit of doing that? Yeah, for sure. Okay. So talk us through, like, again, for those who don't, you know, know how Mac plays the game and haven't seen our videos with Mac recently, definitely dive back. And we talk about this a lot, about why, why Mac hits it right to left with that nice little shape. Um, but let's let's run through that. Yeah, so for me, um, my natural shot shape off the tee that feels most comfortable is that little kind of pull fade, low spin, gets out there. Yep. Maybe isn't the longest um, shot that I could probably hit, but it's something that I trust. So for me, um, with this shot, I tee it a little bit lower, mm -hmm. um, open up my stance a bit, and just really feel like I start it right of my um, kind of end finish line. Yeah peel it back. So for you, face control comes when you don't have to release it with right. the driver. So it's not like with the driver, you're all of a sudden changing your swing and you know, you're coming over the top or anything like it. You're literally making a, a neutral swing that if you were aiming straight down the hole, that club would be coming from the inside. Correct. You just aim yourself down the right hand side, make the exact same swing and allow the alignment to dictate the face relationship to that path. Exactly, and like I said before, if I stand square and try to do this, I find you, that I block everything yeah. and it's not that safety shot that I need. Exactly, whereas when you do it your way, blocking it is the key to hitting it online. Yeah, it's like a little That's push fade. That's why it works, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's, let's see a few like that. And like you said earlier to us off camera, like it's not like when you go to the golf course and you play with other people, like you're short in any way, shape or form. Like you fly it 300, you know, 290 to 300. I mean, look at those numbers, they're ph phenomenal. You're just not wailing at it. You're not ripping at it. You're just putting it into play, you know, 315, 317, right in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, and I think for me, it does look like I swing a little harder than it, I do, because I, I, I like to be free. I don't like to feel like I'm structured and rigid throughout yeah. my golf swing. So um, club head speed wise, like I'm not overly quick, but mm. I, as we've said, I maximize what I do well and, and get the most out of it. Plenty fast enough. Okay, show us a couple more like that. And that's, that, that's the top of the club there. You can hear the strike point of that and you can, you get that spin rate down, even when the ball speed's in the mid-160s. If you catch that top part of the head, which that definitely was, that, that knuckle ball comes out. Yeah, yeah, I find, I mean, that's not a very common miss for me. I'd say my, my miss is normally just a little bit of like an over fade to the left side. That's a miss that I've been trying to almost eliminate. But again, it doesn't normally kill me. It's no. not like a huge double cross. Far from it. Okay, one more and then we'll hit some bombers. Yeah, that's, that's your flight, isn't it? So it kind of spins up a little bit more. Yeah, and I, it's not designed for me to, to hit it out there as far as I can. I'm just, if I'm hitting it 285 in the air, um, but know where it's going, there's not many golf courses that I can't play while doing that. So I'm not overly concerned about how far it's going. I just try to find it, essentially. I mean, that, that's as safety as it comes for you. It just looked like you literally just guided that thing back into the fairway. That's pretty much what it is. It's a glorified guide. 
Perfect. Yeah. Perfecto. Okay, so you've kind of got your, your mid-range 60, 165 uh, speed, 13.4, 2100, carries 290. You can put that in the fairway all day, every day. That's, yeah. That's easy work. Safety blanket for sure. Okay, and, and even the one that went down the right-hand side, this is why having shape in your golf ball is very, very important and knowing what way it's going. Because you were able to aim that down the right-hand side of this hole and it didn't cut back much, but it did cut back. Right. It did move left. Well, so whether that moved left five yards or 35 yards, you were still in A1 plus position. You've allowed yourself that leeway that when you hit it with that one dimensional shape, which for you is always right to left, that's what allows you to hit it and play all the time. Right, exactly, and, and not worry about how far it's going. As long as it's in play and I can hit the next one, I'm happy. Exactly. Now, we, we have touched on with you that we can build a, a, a bomber flight into a gamer, you know, sort of uh, strategy. That's really what, what yours is. It is a bomber flight. 14 launch in 2000. Spin is, is a bomber flight. But when the club path is moving out to in like it is in this case, in the face of staying open, we are not working with maximum acceleration, right? We do not have that head releasing uh, at, the, at the max. So it's not that we're going to hit it further through launch conditions. We're going to hit it through, through dynamics. For sure. Right? So enter the Pink Panther. Low in the face. Probably quick that one. Yeah, 123 club. It's definitely faster. 73 ball. Yep. It's way faster. I just need to catch one in the middle. So we, we can see everything we're trying to kind of get with this. A lot more ball speed. We caught that a little on the head, but it, it's still done really, really well. If we can get that uh, launch angle similar to the gamer flight, even, even up a little bit yeah. with that uh, spin down, there probably is another 25 yards in there and carry for you. Yeah, I would think so. Sounded like it was hit well. Yeah, it's spinny. Okay. So face is staying open on, uh, on this. Fraction open, okay. We'll get that face closing. We'll lose the dynamic loft. So 19.3 dynamic. It was quick. Yeah, really, was. really quick. That's why you feel so comfortable hitting that cut, though. Yeah. You know, you're just, you're very comfortable, you know, keeping the face square for a long, long time. For sure. That's so good. That's a, Should be a little that's lower spin there. with that one. <laughs> that's a joke. So that's, that's kind of where the, the difference lies in terms of the speed launch. S launch and spin, actually, you've retained a lot of that. And, and that's another reason why you love your, your little, you know, safety shot because it's, although the speed is quite significantly different, the end result is, is not that different. Honestly, I think that's for me. I've, I've tried to, to find drivers that maybe go a little further and I can sneak a couple more yards, but I find that for the amount that it actually ends up gaining, it's, it's not enough for me to make a switch when I can find a fairway. It's fairly negligible. Okay, give us, give us a couple more just like that. That was, that was the formula right there. Seven up with 19 loft high in the head. <laughs> Definitely getting a little feel for this now. That's flattening out really nicely. Yeah, that was a little higher in the face, but ball speed dropped a little bit. Okay, so that was more launch conditions? Yep, that was hot. High in the face, low spin. that hill yes yeah so a pretty ideal way just to kind of sign it off there um and, and you you have a true bomber flight out there a bit quicker um interestingly not as efficient for you driving it i mean uh with with that shape yeah that is very interesting but getting the launch up getting the spin down a nice jump in, uh, in ball speed and, and ultimately about 18 more yards in carry. You actually drive it, you drive it pretty straight both ways, to be honest. Yeah, I would, I would say it's like, it's just, it's more that I, the harder I swing, naturally my path goes a little bit more in to out mm -hmm. or draw biased, which I don't like. Yeah. I find when I'm under the gun, I need to hit a cut. So I think for me having that safety shot and sacrificing a few yards of distance I just, it's a hard thing for me to get away from. I think this would be fun to, to work on with you because 
I mean, you are you are someone that if you're working on your speed for a little bit of time, like you you'll be you'll be you'll be 180 pretty. Yeah, pretty and that's the thing. Two years ago, I kind of got up to about 180 consistently. I was like 178, 181. Yeah. Um, I found that like out in the golf course, I didn't necessarily lose uh, no, accuracy. For sure. Um, I think it's just wore my body a little bit more, and I think that that's something that I can work on on my own. So. Right. Okay. So there's there's Max gamer flight and his bomber flight. You guys, you know, you guys decide for yourself. Um, is it worth it? You know, to gain those, that 22 yards of total distance. You can obviously see the the way we've kind of shaped them around. This is a great flight. This gamer flight's 165.6, 13 launch, 2000. I mean, it's it's a really really ideal flight. But it is nice to know that you've got a little 20 up your sleeve. Yeah, and I think for me, my big thing is if there's wind coming off the left, if it's mm -hmm. downwind off the left and yeah. I can set up to hit more of like that bomber swing, yeah. then I know right it. I have it in the bag and it can come out when I need it. Love that. Um, but generally speaking, that 15, 20 yards where it's not guaranteed that mm. I'm gonna find my golf ball isn't worth it to my 310 yards in the fairway. Exactly. Okay, guys, um, having, a, having the ability to kind of you know, flip-flop around between having something you can get in play and something you can really get out there, I think is something that, that you know, understanding your dynamics and your swing mechanics is, is something that's good to have up your sleeve. If, if there's a hole that's maybe a challenging hole, you know, there's, there's enough reward for the risk that you're gonna undertake by, by having a swing at it. Why not? You know, there's, if you can gain that little extra 20 yards and get it out there to the point where you can maybe get on a par five and two or drive a par four, this is, this is some of the ways in which you can do it. I and mean, we can see in that last flight for Mac having the, Angle of attack up, keeping that, that dynamic loft down. I mean, when your spin loft is under 10, you are going to be bombing it. I mean, the, the ball speed's going to be nice and high, uh, all relative to the strike point, of course. But, I mean, that's, that's a really, really good bomber flight there. So, hopefully you guys can see that that's the formula that, that kind of Mac uses when he really needs to move one. And he's got his other uh, flight, which he kind of cuts into the fairway if he really needs to find, you know, the fairway under, under pressure. So uh, something for you guys to pick up on, something for you to learn on. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you again soon.